I'm finally recording. I hope I can get through this video. I have tried like three or four times. Somebody will come running up the stairs or the phone rings or interruption after interruption. And I'm finally getting to it. My husband has gained a little weight. Uh, well, maybe a lot. So he outgrew his suits. And it's very sad on Sunday because he wears this Wyoming, I mean this western vest which you know we live in Wyoming so it's okay with his slacks and stuff tie but I'm thinking if somebody dies he needs a black suit to wear so I noticed Timu had suits for men and so they're between 50 and 60 dollars if you want a three-piece suit then they're more or you can just get a suit jacket I ordered the two-piece black suit and he had to have the plus size, so it's a size three extra large. So it came finally, and you know, it's pretty thin fabric. There's no grain to the fabric whatsoever, but it will work. It's not your expensivest suit. It'll be great if it's hot outside. Now there's some things I wanna say about it. I used to sew for a, cleaners and do all their alterations and stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to hem pants. I think every child in high school should learn how to hem pants. Do you know how many pants I have had to hem for people in my life? It's not that hard. They need to teach these because that was something they could use in their adult life. The other thing is I have seen so many men come to church in a suit with this in the back still sewn together now these pleats in the back sometimes the suit has two and sometimes they have one you are supposed to unhook them take a little whatever and break that stitch i think you could even pull it and unhook that so that your pant the little butt pleat back here opens all right I saw one just last week that the guy hadn't done it. Another thing, your pockets will be sewn together right here. So all you have to do is go in and this is called a seam ripper. If you don't have one of these, you could use a little pair of scissors for your, your nail scissors, a little knife, Anyway, go through, all you have to do is break this stitch, oh, sorry, and rip it open, because it's, it's just basted. It's called basting when the stitches are very far apart. I'm gonna lower my camera, not so you can look down my shirt, but so you can see what I'm doing here. Now see the pocket? You just need to open up this, the threads so that you could put something in your pocket. You don't leave it shut, sewed shut. And then the pocket up here. I hope I don't have to redo this because I've already opened the pockets. This one too, I don't know why they did this. I guess you're supposed to realize that you could put a handkerchief in this pocket. But this isn't a real handkerchief. And my husband isn't classy enough to do that. You know how some ties come with the matching kerchief? No, he would never do that. See, this is just like clear stuff. So cut that out. I don't know how this one is made. It looks like that you could either leave this out or tuck it in. Well, we're tucking it in because it's ugly. It actually, it looks like it's sewn in, but it's, I think it's a pocket. We're taking it out. I'll do that later. Okay, the inside of it's lined. It has all the pads where it's supposed to have it. And there's inside pockets over here. And it buttons so you could secure your passport or something in here. I don't know. I've never been a man, so I don't know what they use all these inside pockets for. Lucky. We never got inside pockets on our clothes. Okay. Now, he thinks the sleeves, oh look, it comes with extra buttons. A big one for the front and these. He thinks the sleeves are a little long. 
and he wants them sh like a fourth inch shortened. No. Do you know how long and how hard it takes to shorten a suit jacket sleeve? Because of this little flap and this sewn this way and everything. No, I'm not shortening it because you wanted a fourth inch shorter. And I had him go like this to see where the sleeves come to. And I said, that's why you want them a little down longer. So I will say, I don't know if you've noticed, but jackets nowadays are shorter and tighter pants and stuff. And so if you look at like on the news, the men wearing suits on the news and they show the full body, it looks like they're wearing their little brother's suit, but that's the style nowadays. This one is shorter. And I know, I look at the picture and that's how it's supposed to be. But uh, my husband also is kind of bent over because he's getting old and his posture. He knows it, I'm not making fun of him. He doesn't walk like he used to. And old men, that's what happens. I'm just taking these little threads out. All right, now we're gonna come I'm gonna tell you how to hem of pants. And also, it comes like this. This is the back seam. If your pants are too big or too small, this is made to open this up and see this seam right here, the back seam. You can open this up. You have to do the waistband open or take it in. And these pants are very nice because they have this elastic right here to make it more comfy. But he still has to wear suspenders. And he has no butt. But he wouldn't, I had him try it on. He wouldn't even leave it on long enough for me to look at it to see to make it fit right. So when he wears it the first time, I'm going to have to see because his butt is not nice and plump like it used to be. It's falling. Mine's already fell. But if he doesn't have a butt, I might take this in more. Because what happens, the bigger you get them, they think they have fat old legs. And so it's real baggy right here by the pockets. I think if I take this in on the back seam, it will pull it in a little. But I'm just going to have to wait until he wears it Sunday because he will not try it on. He just hates new clothes. He hates me to mess around with it all and like I want to do the hem so that they're a little shorter in the front than the back so when they're standing there you know the pants in the front don't buckle up on their foot that's the correct way to do it but he couldn't wait to rip him off and get going because you know he has to go catch mice he's caught 32 mice yesterday in his mouse traps outside and like 50, I don't know. Anyway, he said it's a total of uh, 52 mice in two days. I'm so, they're voles. I'm so glad he's killing them. All right, this leg. All right, so I had him try the pants on. When you want to hem your pants, try them on. You really need someone else to pin it up to where you want it to be. Although, I do it myself and pin it. Then I have to stand up and try it and then do it again and again until I get it right. All right, this is the correct way. So you will not cut him off too short. This is the finished length that he wants. Put a pin here. I pinned it up first, right? So this is the length, which he has to have it this much um, shorter, three and a half inches. So, his inseam's about 30, but you don't want to just go by the inseam, which your inseam is the crotch seam to the end of the length. This is your inseam, and he's usually 30, but you don't want to do that and just do it by measurement. You have to try them on because like these pants, they don't fit like jeans, they're dress pants. The crotch hangs lower, the inseam will be off. So what I'm doing is going around and marking where I want the finished length to be. It's very important, and I'll show you why. The finished length to be. So then you're gonna go in and you have to take the pins out where you marked it. 
I don't just go by a measurement. I go by my pins. Well, actually, I do both. All right. So see how it needs to be this much shorter. So you want a pem in pants. You want to copy what the manufacturer did. So this hem is like one and a half inches. That's what they usually are. Now today I saw a man and he must have had eight inch hem. His hem came clear up to here on his pants. And I'm thinking, oh, whoever did that hem didn't know what they were doing. So you try to copy the hem that the manufacturer's done. So you measure from your the finished length, what we measured, and you do an inch and a half, okay? So I figure, I already marked the other legs, so I know what I'm doing. I figure I will be cutting off the original hem. Now, if you make a mistake, you could ruin your pants. You don't want to do that. So always my philosophy, these are not my good, these are my old good scissors. I wonder why they weren't cutting good. I use them for paper because I got new gingers a few years ago. Don't touch my good scissors. See, look, oh, these are like cut like butter. Timu does not sell them, sorry. So all I'm doing is cutting all along here because I do not want this extra excess in my nice new suit pants. Now you could save this, what you cut off, in case you get a hole in the, my little missionary son, he had to have his suit for two years. He got a hole in the knee. I don't know how, if he fell or something. He was in Mexico and so he, he didn't save this. So he went to a seamstress in Mexico and she opened up the pocket in the suit or something and got a patch. And she, but she did it so bad, she sewed it on the inside, I mean the outside of the suit leg. She did a bad job, I could have done better, but he's home now and he won't wear that suit. Okay, so I have a two inch hem, but I'm not gonna have a two inch hem because you look at your fabric when you cut it off. Is it gonna fray? Look, this fabric frays. So we can't just turn it up and sew it. That fray will fall apart your hem. It'll just keep fraying. So you don't do that. So I'm gonna show you what you do. And you go, oh no, I don't have a sewing machine. You don't need one. Okay, this is all marked where it's supposed to be. So what you do is, and I got a needle with this color thread. Do not do your hems with a color opposite. Get a black thread needle. If you don't have any thread, go to the Dollar Tree. You can buy a whole bunch of packs for really, really cheap. Now, what you're gonna do, cause this phrase, you're gonna roll it under a fourth of an inch. Now I ironed it and look how nice it irons and then pin it up and after you fold that fourth inch in then your hem is only going to be one and three fourths inches if i let open up this part it's two inches okay that's a perfect hem now i'm going i'm reviewing something else from timu you can buy these. Have you ever needed to iron the front of something like, you know, real fast? You can't iron your clothes on yourself, even though you want to. Have you ever tried it? I might have once. Well, they have these on Timu. And so what you do is you can press something, you know, some people don't care, let's face it. You know, those people at Walmart wearing their pajamas to Walmart, they don't really care. So here's a little ironing board. All right, I have, of course, my Rowenta, nice big iron and big heavy ironing board. All right, because we want to um, iron this under. Guess what else Timu sells? I mean, it looks like a toy. Look at it. It has the light, you can get different colors, has the light if it's on. I mean, this is 
but this feels hot, you know? So, just push this under the fourth of an inch. We're gonna see how good this little iron works, if it will work. Sure enough, did. And you can press your hem in. And it looks really good, okay? If you don't have an iron, you are just going to have to fold it under a fourth inch and pin it. Do you see that? All right. Now, I'm, I'm doing this just for you because I'm gonna have to take it out later because I would never put a hem. Well, don't jean, blue jeans have this color of thread sometimes. Now, let me get in the right position. All right, take the needle. You wanna hide, this is the tail right here. You know, thread it, your needle with the double thread and have you heard this? Lick your lips, your fingers, roll it around and do this and pull it. And it's a knot. Practice a few times, you'll get it. All right, here we go. See the side seam here? Always start on the side seam and go underneath the side seam and pull it through. Got it? I'll get closer. Now, see where you came up through? Go straight down and come and take a little bite. Pull it through. Now, take a little bite and come to the, we're just picking up the bottom, the pant leg and then going to the hem piece. Pull it through. Okay. Then, wherever you come up in the hem, go straight up into the pants and take a little bite. See how little? Can you see how little? And then come over here and pull it through. Take a little bite. And then go about it's more than a fourth inch. Pull it through. Now you could take this pin out. As you go, take the pins out because, you know, they could poke you. Wah, wah, wah. It hurts. All right. And you continue to do this. Just take a little bite and come through. Now, if you're really good, when I used to make draperies and we hemmed them by hand, here's what you would do. You would take this little bite, but you would come up into this part that you rolled over and come through. So you would not even see the thread because it's inside the hem. But you don't have to do that because you're a beginner. Take the bite, come through. Don't go da 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 you know, like do and then do do do. No, wherever you come up into this hem piece, you're holding this like this. You don't wanna hold it any other way because you gotta use your fingers under here to feel when your needle goes through you can kind of feel it right there and then come to take another bite. You can hem sleeves like this. You can hem, like, you know, if you're facing sticking out, you can stitch it down like this. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna let you see if you see how big a bite I took. Do you see the yeah, orange thread? That's how big a bite you take. But if you use the same color thread, it's not going to show. And then after you're done, say you're done. Now, if you had an ironing board, you would put side seams together like this. This is a side seam, side seam. Hold them together because that's where your front seam is. And press this all nice and down. And it will look professional. I lost my ironing board. Oh, where is it? I dropped it somewhere. Oh, here it is. I found my ironing board. All right, I just want to show you this part. Say it's all done. Then, if you don't have an iron, then hold the finished seam like this and go back and forth, back and forth on like on the edge of something and it will kind of iron it down. That's if you're desperate. 
if you have a little, oh no, I dropped my iron. If you have a little $5 iron or a more better iron, then do this and press the seam, your hem like this. And if you even press it before you sew it, press it before you sew it, it also makes it easier to sew straight. Okay? Now look at this iron. It's hot. It'll burn you. But it's just plastic. I don't know why it doesn't melt. But it's pretty good. And it even has... Most cheap little things don't have the on and off cord. It's like you plug it in and it's either on or off. Oh, I think a part fell off of it. The bottom here. Maybe not. I don't know. But I this quite surprises me that it heats up and doesn't melt and it's pretty good. Of course, it's not a steam iron. But this would be great to take on your trip in your little suitcase. It's cute. I like it. Okay. If you live in a tiny home, which I could never live in a tiny home. All right. So you just keep going around. I'll show you how you end it because people may not know that. All right. You could practice on something. I love to stitch by hand. While you're watching TV at night, hem your pants. All right, so you're done. So you take the bite and you come up to the hem. And then it has a little loop like this. Take your needle, go through it twice, pull it tight. There, it's knotted off. Then, one lady that taught me to make drapes, she always said this, hide your tail. So you take your needle, don't go all, you're just going inside the hem, and take your needle and go through like this and pull it, dang, and pull it through. And then you can cut this very, this thread very close and you hide your tail so it doesn't show. That's a professional tip. And so, look how nice it will look. And then you can press it. This is the seam, always press it on the seam. Now, I went and ironed the suit a little to see if the fabric went shiny. I don't know if you know that. Sometimes, some fabrics, when you iron them, they go shiny. And you have to have a, a cover cloth to iron or a, iron them inside out. But this didn't do that. It seems pretty good fabric for that. And I think once I get it tailor-made to fit in, it's gonna be okay. Now, if you live in a town that has a dry cleaners, you could take this into the dry cleaners and get it professionally pressed. Tell them, I don't need it cleaned. I just want it pressed. And they will do that for you for not that much, you know. Well, nowadays it's probably, it used to be like $6, but now it's probably a lot more. So, that is how you hem them. All right. Now, I would recommend getting, if you don't have any iron at all, and you're on a budget, or you know somebody, a college kid, I would recommend this little iron. And if you need a suit for like a one-time wear, and you're not like going to wear it, need to wear it every day, you're not an attorney, I would recommend this suit. Because, you know, it's gonna work for 50 bucks. You'll get a few wear out of it. And what is a real suit at the real store cost? Like. 200 or more. Anyway, that's my view of the suit and the iron from Timu. Oh, and the little ironing board. Works great. Oh, it has a little thumb thing right here. 